You're listening to the Wired for Impact podcast. Can you explain what tokenization is and why that's changing? Like, it, it, I think some a lot of people can understand, okay, instead of having maybe a deed, I'm going to have this digital token that represents my ownership in my house. But why does that really change anything? How is that affecting the economics behind it? Okay. So um, as far as house ownership was, is concerned, I wasn't really thinking that uh, you have a token representing your ownership. I was thinking more that the ownership will be recorded on a blockchain with multiple nodes so that even if some of the nodes go down due to war or invasion, the rest of the nodes maintain that blockchain. So the evidence as to who the owner of the particular piece of land and it's what where its, its coordinates are will remain in existence for all time and for all to see. And it won't be possible to delete it, just as you can't have anyone delete the Bitcoin blockchain. It, it's impossible because there's thousands of copies of it. And uh, even if you delete some of them, the rest will remain. So to be clear, is that not represented by a token on the blockchain? How would that be um, represented? Well, it, 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 the, the ownership of the property would be represented by on the blockchain, but that might in turn uh, come down to a, a token. But whether that token would be transferable simply by, if I had you my token, now the property is yours. I, I, I can't actually see it working quite as simply as that. It would be a uh, have to have to be a lot more smart in terms of the types of contracts which have to be signed that have to be evidence that there's been an exchange of value and things on the blockchain, uh, maybe sort of atomic swaps or something like that to change ownership. Uh, and I don't know how they deal with inheritances and things like that. But uh, yeah, it, 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 there could be a token associated with it. And the token would be owned by the owner of the property, but of course, that you need to deal with the situation of when somebody loses access to that token for whatever reason, they die or they've lost it, they don't know where it is. So I, I don't quite see it in the same way that people think of a Bitcoin. I, it's, a, it's either on my telephone or in my private wallet, and I've got it, or I, lo- I, I, it, I have a boating accident, and I haven't got it, and then nobody <laughs> could ever get it again. Right. Are you familiar with Lofty AI? The company that, know, what's uh, that it's it's a company that is offering tokens for real estate investments. Um, so I just dabbled in it a little bit as as an interesting concept to throw in a couple of bucks at it. What's interesting is you can own a piece of a real estate investment property for like fifty bucks, and then you get you know passive income from it from the rental income on it. So that like that was one way that I could see that that would change the economics around a particular asset. Um, and how that might affect an entire asset class, because you know you'd probably be able to sell that property for a lot more if you had a thousand people that bought essentially a one thousandth of a share of that property versus a single homeowner or a single investor. Um, yeah, that changes. That's a, that sounds like a great idea and a lot of fun. And of course, that type of token you would be able to pass around on the, let's say, on the Ethereum network, or I don't know what network it's on, but certainly it'd be quite easy to pass that around and exchange, uh, have atomic swaps one one for the other, where you exchange the token for money and and vice versa. It has a price and it has a quote, and there's market makers and all sorts of things. Uh, but you know, if if I take a sort of less complicated tokenization, let's take the securities which trade on the New York Stock Exchange. Mm-hmm. Why wouldn't they be tokenized? Why do we have to deal through a broker-dealer network? Why can't we have decentralized exchanges where people are making their own markets and uh, we own tokens and we literally convey our ownership by buying and selling wherever we choose to buy or sell on whichever exchange we choose to buy and sell? And uh, that obviously these cha- exchanges would all be mathematically linked together so you don't have price discrepancies. But I, I think it'd be a lot easier where if we had it like that at the moment, if you buy a security, it's two day settlement. Now, it used to be, t- it used to be seven day settlement uh, when I was young. Now it's two day settlement. But why two? All the technology exists to do it instantaneously. Mm-hmm. That's what an atomic swap is, where the transaction happens instantaneously. There's no waiting around. It's like when you go to uh, an atomic swap, it's like when you go to the market and you give the farmer your money and he gives you the chicken. He doesn't have to know who you are. You don't have to know who he is, but the transaction either happens or it doesn't happen. There's no mm-hmm. argument. Mm-hmm. Yeah. that's. Uh, I think I'm still trying to wrap my head around how that would affect. I think uh, the average person today thinks, okay, I'm going to invest in some stock. Now you're telling me that it's going to be a token, but at the end of the day, aren't the fundamentals still the same? 
well, is there anything significantly different that changes my strategy, my uh, holdings, my, you know, I'm not sure I'm wrapped my head around yet how tokenization may change the economics behind how we might go about our behavior, essentially our investment behavior. It sh- shouldn't change anything. They should still get their dividends. They should still get their voting rights, but it'll make the transacting a lot quicker and easier. They want to buy a tenth of a share or pass a share to their children. It'll be very quick and easy to do. That makes sense. So there's an efficiency thing and a, a record thing, a security thing. That makes sense. Thank you for listening to this episode of Wired for Impact. If you're interested in creating and expanding your impact, be sure to visit us online at impactnow.com.